Here is my first YouTube video using my new camera. I recently purchased the Sony ZV-10 camera along with the Sigma lens, the 16mm 1.4. And in my previous videos, I showed the unboxing of the camera and the lens. If you're interested, you can check it out. But this is the first time I'm actually using it for a YouTube video. What do you think about the quality? Let me know in the comments below. I think what I also like about this camera is that it has a rotating screen and using that rotating screen, I can monitor myself to see that I am sitting correctly. I am in frame and every other thing but in this video the main question i want to address is why did i finally decide to purchase a camera and i'm going to be sharing three reasons why i purchased a camera now a couple of people are quite surprised that the videos i've been making on my channel have been with my iphone yes it has been with my iphone i use the iphone 13 pro and that's what i've been using for the past month i think up to a year now for recording my videos here on youtube it gives a nice quality as well as a blurry background and i mean it's just the camera app so it's also easy to use i don't have to set exposure or all those bunch of things when i want to make my videos i simply mount the phone on the phone holder i come here to see it and then i have my apple watch which i'm not wearing currently but on the apple watch i can monitor what the phone is capturing and that way i can shoot my videos i actually have a different video where i talk about using my phone and my apple watch for my youtube i'll link it below so you can check it out but this has always been my setup but i've always wanted a camera and in fact last year i got a camera it was a second hand camera is the canon g7x i think mark 2 i got that for youtube but after using it for some of my videos i gave up on the camera and stuck to using my phone the reason i gave up on the camera was number one it didn't have as good quality as i needed and this probably also has something to do with the fact that i'm not very good at lighting setups or maybe i wasn't very good with using the camera also i couldn't change the lens i could only use the lens that came with the camera and if i am not satisfied there is nothing i can do about the lens but the major thing that made me give up on that camera was the fact that the autofocus was not very good i had a couple of videos where i used this camera and let's say the video is like seven minutes maybe while recording the video there was a moment where i turned left to pick something or turned right i would realize that eventually when i look back at the screen the camera lost focus and sometimes i don't realize this immediately it's actually during editing i'm editing this seven minute video and then after two minutes i see that for the remaining five minutes I wasn't in focus so that was why I gave up on the camera I just dumped it and stuck to using my phone but after using my phone for a couple of months you know even the battery is not as good as it used to be anymore because for my 5 minutes 10 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes videos it's always my phone in fact there was a recent interview I had with a friend it was 50 minutes each and my phone did all of this so I've always wanted a camera and by this time I knew okay I have to get a camera now but the three reasons why I got the camera number one is because my personal phone used to be my video camera and that wasn't convenient anymore so i thought to have a camera specific for content creation either youtube tiktok or instagram videos and also you know when i'm using my phone as a camera i would have to set it up check my apple watch do all of these things before i can start but by having a camera fixed there i can just easily press record and monitor myself through the rotating screen that doesn't mean i'll not be using my phone for videos anymore i'll still be using my phone to capture pictures and videos i mean i can't take this camera everywhere if i'm going out so i'll still have my phone for capturing all of those moments or maybe i want to make a video and capture multiple angles of the subject in such cases i can use my phone so that way i can have my phone somewhere else serving as a second angle which is the secondary camera but for my major my primary camera moving forward it's going to be this sony camera the second reason why i purchased this camera is because i want to explore the camera world from videography to photography understanding all these terms like exposure iso aperture and a bunch of them this has always been my interest which inspired me to get that camera last year but unfortunately i couldn't make the most of that camera In in fact i'm even going to put that camera up for sale maybe there are people who can make the most of that camera for videography or for photography and i also want to put one public announcement out there because i just got into the camera world i am not very expensive so invite me to your weddings your events your ceremonies invite me now that i am not yet a professional because in the future i'm going to be very very expensive patronize me now that i am still cheap and the third reason why i purchased this camera was also to get better quality on my 
pictures and my videos. With my iPhone, I've been able to capture good videos and good pictures. But another thing I have gotten to realize is that with the phone, I don't really have much control over the light, the exposure, and some of these things that makes up a quality picture. But with the camera, I have control over those things from things like aperture, depth of field, ISOs, white balance, all of those things. As I'll be exploring this camera world, understanding all of these things, I'll be able to achieve better quality for my pictures and also for my videos here on YouTube. So don't judge this camera by this video you're watching right now. This is still my first time using it, but in the next couple of months, I should have more crispy videos. So those are my three major reasons for getting this camera. And before I got this on the ZVA 10 in particular, I actually made a lot of research. From research about understanding camera terms like aperture, which I listed earlier, to also researching multiple cameras that could be good for my use case from the Sony A6400, A6300 to the Canon M50, a bunch of all of these cameras, but I decided eventually to go for the Sony ZV-A10. Now I'll be sharing my reasons for going for this camera specifically in another video. I'm going to link that in the video description for you to check out, but one of the major reasons why I went for this camera is because of how good the autofocus is, at least compared to the camera I was using last year. The autofocus is so good and we can actually check it out. Let's say I go out of the screen and I come back or I go out completely and I come back. I don't know if you notice how good it is with autofocus or let's even try an object. I don't know if you see how good the autofocus is, but the autofocus was just so good and that was why it stood out for me when I was researching for multiple cameras. But like I said, I'm going to share more reasons why I went for this camera and I would link it below. Now, like I said, the camera world is a journey for me where I'll be learning and experimenting and growing. So like every other thing in my life and my career, just as I have been doing in my previous videos, I'm also going to be sharing my lessons and experiences while exploring the camera world. I recommend you subscribe so you can see those videos also give this video a like if you enjoyed it and again please let me know what you think about the quality of this video in the comment section have an amazing day